In the new Marin Cinema series portfolio, the Cinema 40 is positioned fairly high. With nine amplifier channels built and in a wide range of inputs and outputs, the Cinema 40 is a full-featured home theater receiver. It may easily serve as the brain of a fantastic home entertainment setup. Marantz runs a program in Japan where they educate engineers to become Marantz sound masters in an effort to continue their legacy of producing equipment that sounds authentic. As a product is being created, they will conduct numerous listening tests and learn to recognize the kind of sound that has made Marantz renowned. Even while it's unclear whether this is done for every Marantz product, we can be certain that the new Cinema 40 underwent the sound master listening process to perfect its sonic signature for the comforting Marantz sound. Even the Shurikawa factory in Japan produces the Cinema 40. We have always been impressed with Marantz's ability to assemble their systems with high build quality. A front panel made of aluminum with the trendy new appearance they introduced with their Series 30 is included on both the Cinema 40 and Cinema 50. Marantz offers a complete five-year parts and labor warranty on both units, demonstrating their confidence in the durability of these products. A home theater lover looking for a high-end all-in-one receiver will find almost everything they need in the Cinema 40. There are three video outputs and seven 8K inputs on the video side, along with Zone 2 and 3 audio. All of these comply with the newest HDMI 2.1 and HDCP 2.3 specifications. In contrast, the Cinema 50 only has Zone 2 and six 8K inputs. A single component video input and two composite video inputs are video input capability that may be crucial for those of you with older video sources that lack HDMI. The H circuitry in the Cinema 40 allows it to also improve low resolution video feeds to higher resolutions. You gain extra points with the Cinema 40 since the Cinema 50 only offers HDMI video inputs. The Cinema 40 and 50 each have five analog inputs, including two each of digital and coax and an MM phono input. Between the two units, there's no distinction. The Cinema 40 and Cinema 50 are capable of handling every type of surround sound format. Both have Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D, which is a feature that is no longer seen on many AVR. Although we were particularly interested in whether the Cinema 40 had a better DAC set than the Cinema 50, it turns out that both models use a very pricey analog device's DSP chipset. Therefore, they will render immersive audio effects in the same way, and they do a fantastic job in that regard. Both units contain independent subwoofer channels and inbuilt processing for 11 channels total. It's terrific news for those of you who are aware that many subwoofers can produce sound even better than the sum of their individual parts. The ability to individually modify each sub with the included Odyssey Multi EQ XT32 is a significant deal. Additionally, each of the 11 channels has a preamp out, allowing you to enhance any channel set by adding a power amp when the time comes. Although they already include Odyssey, you will soon have the option to upgrade to direct live room correction with either of these. We finally have what we believe to be some firm dates and costs for this after much conjecture about timing and cost. But of course, these are all subject to change. Additionally, there are speculations circulating that a new Durac iteration is imminent. Whether Marantz chose to wait for that reason or if it will be an option on these is unknown to us. In the spring of 2023, a bandwidth restricted Durac Live version with a $259 price tag will be available. The majority of people will be satisfied with this since the cutoff frequency for this version is 500 HC which is below where you really want to undertake room correction. It will cost $349 for the complete band. Durac also includes a feature dubbed Durac Live Bass, which, to our knowledge, is not a feature of any AVR or processor. This raises the bar for subwoofer mixing, and it appears that the Marantz products will be priced at $349 for a single sub and $499 for multiple subs. This improvement won't be available until around 2024, though. The adage garbage in, garbage out definitely applies here, so if you decide to upgrade to a Durac, we urge you to get a high-quality microphone like the one from Mini DSP. The two units' differences in this area are minimal. Both devices have excellent on-screen interfaces, will guide you through the setup process in addition to having all the essential voice control and streaming capabilities via HIOS. The Cinema 40 and Cinema 50 both have nine power channels built into them. 
making it possible to upgrade either one to a 11.4 system by just adding a two-channel power amp. Speaking about amplifiers, that is truly where the Cinema 40 and the Cinema 50 vary most significantly. The Cinema 40 has a channel rating of 125 watts, and two channels are pushed at 8% THD across the entire audio band. With the same specifications, the Cinema 50 has a rating of 110. The power amp sections in these devices are plainly different from one another. Despite the fact that at first glance you might not believe the two are all that different, in the Cinema 40 signal route, Maritz incorporates modernized components. Furthermore, if you look closely, you can see that each of the 9 amp channels is on its own circuit board. Another noticeable distinction is that the Cinema 40 is about 1.5 inches taller than the Cinema 50. To support the Cinema 40's significantly larger power transformer, see below. We tested the Cinema 50 in stereo to see what kinds of variations we might hear between what are obviously very separate amplifier sections because we had already been very satisfied with the sound of the device in a full-fledged home theater. The Marantz SA-10 reference CD player served as the source, and the Cinema 40 and 50 were set up in a system with B and W703's three tower speakers. The direct mode on both receivers was selected. Just one time switching back and forth made it obvious that the Cinema 40 is warmer, more fluid, and simply seems to control the deep bass much better. Without a doubt, both had the warm, traditional Marantz sound, which made them both very enjoyable to listen to. However, the Cinema 40 Best represents the sound that Marin Soundmasters utilize as a benchmark. When compared to other expensive standalone components, did it create a soundstage that was as broad and deep? No, neither did it have the finest interior detail that comes with pricey separates. However, what it does is non-correct. It is really simple to listen to and may even trick some of your audiophile friends into believing they are listening to something other than a fantastic home theater receiver. It all boils down to this, is the Cinema 40 worth the premium above the already excellent Cinema 50? The Cinema 40 will be the option you choose if you require legacy analog video inputs, 7 HDMI inputs, or two more zones. We believe that the majority of users will require those things. Thus, the audio quality will be the only factor. Our opinion is that it is worth the extra money if you prefer two-channel audio. Another factor is the extra guts provided by the more powerful power amp section if your speakers are on the lower end of the sensitivity band. However, if you care more about all the fantastic features, you'll find them on the Cinema 50 with its excellent amp section. This model might be a better option because it will let you use the money difference to buy better speakers or an additional subwoofer. With everything the Cinema 40 and Cinema 50 have to offer, we have two excellent options and you really can't go wrong with either one. The home theater nerd in us must then examine the Marantz 8015, of course. It contains two copies of the same DAC, two extra processing channels for 13 speakers plus two subs, more analog video inputs, and 7.1 analog in for SACT aficionados. It also features a much stronger power amp section. However, you will lose four independent subs as it only has two, and there is no possibility to upgrade to Durac Live, which in our opinion gives the Cinema 40 the advantage. We sincerely hope that this review of the brand new Marantz Cinema 40 Home Theater Receiver has helped you obtain a better understanding of the features you gain when you upgrade from the Cinema 50. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.